This video is about equilibrium analysis in economics. Let's start with the meaning of equilibrium. Equilibrium, it is uh, said here that uh, it is a constellation or a system, a system of selected interrelated variables. So uh, they are not just uh, any variables, but selected, only the relevant variables, and they are interrelated to each other. So adjusted to one another, that no inherent tendency to change prevails in the model. So uh, the system, the constellation, uh, happens the same way all the time. Uh, there is no tendency to change prevails in the model. Uh, if, for example, uh, this equilibrium is applied in, uh, in the market, for example, so the variables here can be the price can, can, uh, and also the uh, quantity demanded, quantity supplied, and of course also some other variables that uh, influence uh, quantity demanded and quantity supplied like uh, taste, income, uh, expectation, uh, the price of input. Those variables are the selected interrelated variables in uh, the market equilibrium. Normally, there are so many commodities uh, in the market. If what we are talking about in the analysis is only some of the commodities, not all of them, perhaps only one or two or three, uh, so the analysis is called partial market equilibrium. Not a general, but a partial market equilibrium. In uh, market equilibrium analysis, uh, the standard problem is finding uh, z of values of the endogenous variable that will satisfy the equilibrium condition of the model. For example, if we are talking about a market equilibrium with a linear model, like the one we can see here, the demand function is quantity demanded equals A minus BP, supply function QS equals minus C plus DP. Uh, so, uh, the requirement to reach an equilibrium in this market is when the quantity demanded here equals the quantity supplied. This is the requirement to reach an equilibrium. So, uh, if this requirement is uh, fulfilled, then we can find the set of values of these endogenous variables. Now, the linear uh, model of uh, market analysis of an uh, equilibrium in the market is applied in a diagram. This is the demand, this is the supply, this is the equation we have found in the previous slide, and the interaction between demand and supply happens here, and the equilibrium is when the quantity demanded is equal to the quantity supplied, and it happens at the intersection between the demand and the supply. It is at this point, the equilibrium point. At this equilibrium point, the price is P star and the quantity is Q star. So this is the equilibrium point. And uh, in mathematics, because the endogenous variable is the Q, so normally the quantity is placed on the vertical. But in the mathematics, uh, sorry, in economics, often we can find that the price will be placed on the vertical and the quantity will be on the horizontal. Uh, so uh, the equation of the demand that we can find in economics if the price is on the vertical is not uh, really the demand function, but it is the inverse of demand function, as well as the supply, because the price will be placed on the vertical, so what we can find is the inverse of uh, supply function. And then the next step is finding the solution to the equilibrium values to this uh, market model that we can find in the following slide. Now, uh, we have an example 
of a market model. We have linear equations here. This is the demand, this is the supply, and the requirement for equilibrium, as we have learned uh, in the previous slide, is that QD equals QS. Okay? So, uh, mathematically, we can find the solution of this market model by finding the quantity demanded here equals the quantity supplied. And we find that the price is 2. It means that the equilibrium price in the market is 2. And after knowing that the P is 2, we can substitute this into the demand or the supply. And then we can find that uh, the quantity is 6. The quantity demanded is 6. The quantity supplied is 6. That's uh, what will happen in equilibrium. The quantity demanded equals the quantity supplied. So the equilibrium point in this example is when the price is equal to 2 and the quantity is 6. This time we have another example of a market model, but the equations here, the equation for the demand is non-linear. It is a quadratic and the uh, equation of the supply is linear. So we have a linear equation for the supply and non-linear which is quadratic for the demand function. Uh, to find the equilibrium, the same thing is applied. The quantity demanded equals the quantity supplied. So here, the quantity demanded, the quantity supplied, and then we move everything to the left as we have uh, learned uh, from the first uh, session. And then solve the equations, find the square root, and then we find that uh, the price is 1 or it can also be minus 5 because uh, negative price is not relevant, it is irrelevant. So we will only use the 1 here, the price which is equal to 1. When the price is 1 and then it is uh, substituted into the demand and the supply functions, we can find that the quantity is equal to Three. So, in this example of the market model, the equilibrium price is 1, then the equilibrium quantity is 3. That's what will happen as an equilibrium in this market. Let's see the diagram of the example we have just discussed in the previous slide. Let's start with the demand here, yeah, the demand. The demand is a quadratic, okay? So, uh, we can see here, uh, because it is quadratic, the shape that we can expect from this quadratic uh, equation is uh, a hill, like this one, or it can also be uh, a valley. But, because the parameter here, the coefficient here is negative, so we can expect that the shape of this uh, demand uh, function is a hill with a maximum point. And then we can also see here that when the price is zero, the quantity is four. So when the price is zero, the quantity is four here at this point. And then we can also find the values of the price here. When the quantity is zero, we can find that uh, the price, uh, as we have discussed in the previous slide, the price is uh, minus two or two. Okay, when the quantity is zero, the price can be either negative two or positive two. So, based on those informations, we can just catch the graph. A hill from minus 2 to positive 2. This is the quantity. Uh, when the quantity is 0, this is the price. When the quantity is 0, this is the price. 
and this is the quantity when the price is zero. Another thing important for this uh, equation is that the maximum point happens when the price here is at the midpoint between the negative 2 and 2. The midpoint between negative 2 and positive 2 is 0. This is the midpoint. So this is the place when the graph will reach its maximum. So when the price is 0, the maximum is 4. In this example, uh, we find that uh, the vertical intercept is at the same point as the uh, maximum point. Okay, the vertical intercept is at the same point as the maximum point. This, uh, that does not always uh, to think that we're going to find an example. Sometimes the vertical intercept is not at the same point as the maximum. Okay, and then let's see the uh, supply. The supply is a linear. So we can straightforwardly find that when the price is zero, the quantity negative one. When the quantity is zero, the price is a quarter, one fourth here. So after finding two points, we can just uh, draw the supply graph from here, stretching to this uh, position here. So this is the supply. And the equilibrium is found when the quantity demanded equals the quantity, quantity supplied. So this is the quantity in equilibrium. Three here, the intersection between demand and supply. And the price is one, as we have uh, found in the previous slide. So this is the uh, diagram for uh, market equilibrium when the quantity uh, demanded equals the quantity supplied. In economics, uh, often we need to place the price on the vertical and the quantity on the horizontal. So it is uh, the inverse of the previous slide. In the previous slide, the quantity was on the vertical and the price on the horizontal. So because now the price is on the vertical, we need to uh, inverse the demand and the supply. Uh, now, uh, this is the supply. The, when the supply here crosses the vertical axis, it is not the quantity anymore, but it is the price. And it is uh, a quarter here. And the negative one is here. So basically, uh, it is only the inverse of the supply uh, function we have just uh, found in the previous slide. The same thing for the demand. This is the demand now. So it is the inverse of the previous slide. Now the price on the vertical, the quantity on the horizontal and the equilibrium is here. The quantity is three, the same quantity, but now only it is placed on the horizontal. This is, the price is one, the same price that we have found in the previous slide, but now it is on the vertical. And uh, often, uh, this is what we're going to find in economics uh, to explain, to illustrate uh, uh, market in an uh, analysis.